Interesting song. Thanks! Human prisoner used to sing. I thought maybe practice, sing with him. But then he was in corpse pile, so no singing with him. Happy to sing to you, though. Hey guys, this is Frostbite128 here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the Halo 5 Guardians Easter eggs that I know of right now. The first one's on Mission 2 Blue Team, and it is the Banshee Swarm Easter egg. Um, first, you saw me look at that skull. You're going to want to go out to this, like, like little catwalker, and you're going to shoot the skull from yeah, over here. It will explode if you to know you hit it. That light that I'm aiming at right now will start blinking. When you shoot that, it'll explode and make the grunt birthday party noise, and then the banshees will appear. As far as we know, the banshees do not attack you, and you can't attack them. They don't ever come close enough to take. The next easter egg is on mission 2 blue team when you get to the big area after you go down the elevator you're gonna want to pick up a banshee this is the ultra banshee easter egg it's really not an easter egg it's just this just tells you how to get the um banshee ultra which you can use in warzone it's significantly better than a normal banshee you're gonna want to pick up a normal banshee and you're gonna fly down here to the little railing that i go to this little jet looking thing and you're gonna want to land on this catwalk this is a crucial step for some reason to pick up this rocket launcher that you see me pick up now you don't necessarily have to have your banshee survive the whole way you could ground pound down to the next um, little catwalk area but I grab the banshee and fly down there just to show you where it is you're gonna want to land your banshee here You're gonna go on this little catwalk and have, make sure you have like rocket launcher and a ranged weapon. And about at this curve, you're gonna want to aim and shoot the skull. There's no way to tell if you shoot it, so I just empty my clip into it. You'll know you shoot it when you get over there and stand next to it and turn around. You um you'll see a bunch of flashes. That's when you know you got it. You will also hear the grunt birthday party sound. You're gonna want to aim over there just to make sure you see it coming because it will come from underneath there. When it gets close enough, it'll drive right by you. You can hijack it. There's a small window that you can grab. There's a difference in color. It does have upgraded uh, fuel rod cannon on it. Like, you can see it explodes multiple times. If you want to see... Um, if you want to... Um, find out the other differences between the normal Banshee and the Banshee Ultra. You can always look it up. It's just a Banshee Ultra. On mission 3 glassed you can find the third easter egg which is a vending machine that looks out of order but it's in the first firefight area that you get to and just repeatedly press the buttons and you'll hear the grunt birthday party sound the first weapon that will come out is a magnum then keep pressing it and you'll get a shotgun and keep pressing it you'll hear the grunt birthday party sound a couple times press it last and you get a saw it is great in legendary the next easter egg i have a little trouble finding but <laughs> there's another vending machine on mission four meridian station it's this vending machine, you keep pressing the buttons, he keeps saying some random stuff about this vending machine as you press the buttons, but you'll know when you get it. It will make a very distinct noise and a giant soccer ball will appear. Look at that. Used to play a fair bit of football in my day. Bring it on, old man. Let's see who can score first. 
Locke and Buck had a little exchange there. They said that they were going to play soccer and see who scores first. I This was my first time while recording this. I did know that there was a soccer ball, but I had never done it before. This was my first time, so I was bringing it around Meridian Station trying to find the goal because I knew there are two goals. my head around those independent colony types. What's to understand? People like their freedom. UNSC ain't exactly a totalitarian state. It's still a state. A state who says where a body can settle and where it can't. That kind of oversight ain't needed on the frontier. The two goals are right in this area. They're, it's a fairly decent court if you and your friend want to play co-op um, soccer <laughs> on this mission. No matter who scores first, Buck will always scream goal, and no matter which goal you make it in, he will always scream goal, goal, goal. Pretty much. The last Easter egg I have takes up a good portion of the video, and it's not the whole Easter egg. I did record a lot of it because it is pretty funny, and I wanted you to see what the grunt says. But that is all I'm gonna say for the rest of the video. See ya. Another one was, 
What kinds of things humans breathe? Not waters. You put them in waters and forget about it. <laughs> they get real quiet after breathing waters. <laughs> you know, maybe humans are way braver than we think. They're doing all kinds of honors flying in those pigeons or peregrine or percolator ships or whatever you call them. Like rocks with wings. Seriously. Never seen one land the side of the one. Or if it landed on purpose. Maybe, maybe all those crashes is a strategy. Huh. Maybe we're supposed to think, wow, they treat their own ships so bad. Just think how much they're gonna wreck ours. You gotta quit talking in Sangili, okay? You gotta talk human. I don't understand Sangili. All I hear is work, work, work. Doisak! 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 Doi! Zack! Plan of the Brutes, everybody! Could have named it anything! They could have! But they named it Doisak! Doisak! You know, you don't talk much. Are you just doing the Sangheili brain thing? Keep breathing! Very honorable to be breathing! And tall! And making yells at everybody! Are you thinking that? Or are you just being quiet? There's this one thing I've been thinking about for years. Say you're a nice thing, right? And there was a mean thing that turned nice things into mean things. But you caught it. Would you kill the mean thing once and forever? Or would you maybe take the mean thing and put it someplace safe so people in the future can find it and feed it to some dogs? I'm just saying that I might probably not do the second one. Huh. You ever serve on a space-time ship all out in space? I was on one for years, but can't ever remember the name. I mean, how come we got such complicated ship-time names? Every time you make intel in a battle, the ship's probably blown up before you finish, like, Sir, they're firing missiles, choo 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 into CSS Pinnacle, shadowy gumption, and oh, pop, too late, it's exploded it. Don't worry, here comes the unyielding double canoches, and oh man, <laughs> never mind. Gotta give ships littler names like murder, flip, or bomb. That's way safer. I used to work for the Didact. It was okay, I guess. Worked for Jewel and Dama mostly. But he was a jerk. Almost got us all killed, and then he did, and that was okay too, I guess. I mean, not dead's better than dead, right? Just ask my buddy Plurp. He's dead, and he doesn't like it. At least he doesn't say he likes it. Anyhow, whole time I knew the didact, he said like three words. Three. He said, I can't be composed. I wonder if he wanted that for himself and was afraid. I hope he found a way to be that and also not afraid. You know, I was afraid they'd find out that I shoot at Plurp, but I, I blamed it on the green demon guy. I can actually blame a lot of things on him. You ever do that? That guy was the best. You could shoot him and shoot him and he never fell over. Not like... Oh.